Hey everyone, this is my summary of the 2023 When We Were Young Festival. Whether you were there with me and just want to be here for the memories watching the videos or you are going to one in the future and want some tidbits and ideas of what it's like, I hope this video can help you out and please leave any information or um, helpful hints in the comments, anything I forgot for those going in the future. So this was the lineup. This is some of the stuff I did. Nails prepping, made tons of bracelets while I was on the plane there. Um, just had a lot of fun getting ready for it all and interacting with the rest of the crowd. Everybody was really nice. Here's me with my sister-in-law getting ready to go. We decided to wear matching outfits, which made it easier to see each other. Monorail map. Um, we took the monorail there. It was insane. As you can see, so many people heading there at the same time. Absolutely packed. And then our way there, it just took a lot of time walking and on the monorail. Um, just be prepared to give yourself a couple extra hours to get there because it can take quite a while to get through the lines and uh, make it all the way through the doors and it can be really hot so be prepared for that as well um, these aren't lines per se it's just crowds of people trying to get in with no specific lineup but it worked we made it in here is a map of everything they provide lots of details for you we did get a locker so we went straight to that when we got in which was great to put away sweatshirts in case it got cold which it did not for us but always good to be prepared so here's an idea of what it looks like as you are walking in um, just we went straight to the food it was um, hot and crowded but we wanted to hydrate and get some food before we headed into the crowds and here you can see we are walking and just getting a feel for everything i won't talk much more i want you to be able just to see all the amazing bands that we got to see through these recordings i will leave plenty of information in the comments and again please feel free to add to it where we started overheating so we sat to enjoy the next couple of shows.
Have it. I hope you enjoyed my video collage and keepsake for myself for when we were young and I sure hope that it helps you also know what to 
look forward to if you're going in the future, or I hope it brought back memories if you've attended in the past. Here's some food and drink menus to show you some of the options and prices. And I did not even get to the skateboard ramp where there were professional skaters, including Tony Hawk. There was so much more to see. Comment below if you saw other things that I haven't included. Something to keep in mind is that the cell phone reception is not very reliable. So if you're going with a group and separating, plan a meeting spot or time so that you won't be separated for too much of the show. That really helped us out. And in summary, I had a fantastic time. I would go back in a heartbeat. Some of the people with me felt like it was a little bit too crowded for them and maybe not their thing to go to each year, but it was quite the experience of a lifetime. I absolutely loved it and I'm so thankful that we made such a fun trip of it. I will say now that I have been there and experienced it, I'd be totally willing to pay the extra for VIP and be that much closer to each band and have it a little bit easier to get around from stage to stage. If you found this video helpful, please show a girl some love with a like and subscribe so I can keep up the content. And if you're like me and you're wondering what bag to pack, what to put in that bag, and all that information, I will be providing plenty of links of resources for you below so that you can have a little help along the way. Thanks again for making it all the way through this video. All right, have an awesome day.